from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Please join us in this prayer of love to the Holy Family for the fourth week of Advent. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, in you we contemplate the splendor of true love. To you we turn with trust. Holy Family of Nazareth, grant that our families too may be places of communion and prayer, authentic schools of the gospel, and small domestic churches. Holy Family of Nazareth, may families never again experience violence, rejection, and division. May all who have been hurt or scandalized find ready comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us once more mindful of the sacredness and inviolability of the family and its beauty in God's plan. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Graciously hear our prayer. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of the daily TV Mass. I am Father Tomasz Skibinski. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from three donors. The first is Melba Kopchar from Three Hills, Alberta, for personal intentions. The second is Willie Damon from Port Hope, Ontario, in loving memory of her mother, Wilhelmina, who died six years ago today, her husband Al, who died five years ago on December 21st, and her best friend Gwen Roddy on December 22nd, 2018. Also for the living and deceased members of the Damon and Minima families and Our Lady of Mercy Rosary group. The third is Francis Indra Thampo Savundarajaj from Houston, Texas in loving memory of her husband, Dr. Philip Mohan Savundararaj, who passed away two years ago on December 20th, 2020, his parents, Joseph and Mary, who passed away in 2018, and his siblings, Marina and Charles, who passed away in 1992. Also for the good health and special intentions of the living Savundararaj family. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we gather for the celebration of this Mass, as always at the beginning, we ask the Lord for pardon and mercy for our sins, so that we may worthily celebrate these holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel and so became the dwelling place of divinity filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example we may in humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Isaiah and said, 
go out to meet Ahaz and say to the king, ask a sign of the Lord our God, let it be deep as shoal and high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin is with child and shall be bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. That is, God is with us. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But Mary was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. His reign, he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month 
for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Just a few days separate us from the time of Christmas, from the day of the birth of the Lord, which we always prepare for. And now those last day of this time of Advent prepare us for these for this immediate feasts that are coming now. The first part of Advent was preparing us for, for the second coming of Christ, but now we not only recall, but we want really to make a memorial, a real presence, a real event of the coming of Christ among us. And um, so we read in those days all those Gospels that speak about the preparation and the plan of God that is unfolding in front of our eyes. And I'm sure that we've heard the Gospel about the Annunciation so many a times. We hear it, yes, for the Feast of the Annunciation, but other Marian feasts as well. And the Church gives it to us also just, just a few days um, before, before Christmas. And um, there is a beautiful uh, homily in praise of the Virgin Mary by Saint Bernard, who, who was writing a lot about the Virgin Mary and because he was so much in love with the Virgin Mary. But um, he writes <laughs> about her, about this scene in such a new way. And we can find it if you want to return to this text, it is, it is, the, it is the text that is given to us for the um, Liturgy of the Hours uh, for this day, actually. And uh, St. Bernard, he speaks about, um, about this, this moment that uh, the angel comes waiting for an answer, waiting for an answer because he needs to return to God. And there is uh, a certain urgency. The Virgin Mary uh, is not supposed to wait to give her answer. But um, this is give her reply as a, as a word of compassion, compassion for all of us, for all of us who are waiting, who are waiting to be freed, um, to be freed from darkness, to be freed from sin. And we know that this, this crucial event, has, this, this moment really has changed this, the history of humanity, this, uh, the response of the Virgin Mary. And, um, and so he says, do not hold back, do not wait now, but, but be brave, be courageous, respond. Because Adam, he says, and, his, and the soaring family begs you of uh, uh, this of you. Uh, in the exile from paradise. I, Abraham begs it, David begs it, uh, the patriarchs, everyone is waiting for your answer. And so he says, this is not the time now to, to keep on waiting, to keep us in suspense, but to give an answer. And, uh, and he says, yes, do it, do it without delay. Why are you, why are you afraid of, 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 of responding? And so he says, believe, give praise and receive. Receive the word so that the word of God incarnate, Jesus Christ himself, may come to life. And so he says, this is no time for virginal simplicity to forget prudence. No, but he says, do not be fearful. Though mod uh, modest silence is pleasing, dutiful speech is now more necessary. Open your heart to faith, O blessed Virgin Mary, your lips to praise, your womb to the Creator. And these are really beautiful words because they speak about this joy that we are already anticipating in those days and we know what's going to happen. We know the answer of the Virgin Mary, but there is this moment of, of tension. The Lord is coming there, knocking at her door, at the door of her, of her heart, uh, knocking to enter. And so the Lord comes to us. Whenever we hear the word of God, it is as if this moment was coming to our lives. Whenever the word of the good news is being proclaimed to us, we also are in front of an angel that the Lord might, might be sending to our lives so that we may give an answer, give an answer. And, um, 
it is a word for us today. What is our answer in front of the Lord? What is our answer in front of all those events that God presents in our life? Some of them are surely very surprising, uh, unexpected, maybe even difficult, confusing at times. But the Lord says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid because on your faith, on your response, depends not only your own life, but maybe the life of many people who will come after you. So today, the Lord comes, he speaks to us, and he's waiting for an answer. But first of all, our answer is to bless him, to give him thanks. And this is what we are going to celebrate. This is what we are going to do in this liturgy. We are going to bless the Lord and give him thanks for his word that became flesh for us. Let us now stand and together let us offer our prayers. During this Advent season, we ask our Blessed Mother to intercede with her Son on behalf of those searching for hope, joy, and love as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the donors, thank to whom we can celebrate this Mass, for all those whom we commend to God's mercy, that the Lord may welcome all of them into the kingdom of his peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Heavenly Father, help us prepare to celebrate Christmas by contemplating Mary and Joseph. Mary, the woman full of grace, Joseph, the faithful and just man. They chose to be filled with hope, joy, and love rather than listen to the voices of doubt and human pride. With them, let us walk together toward Bethlehem. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, where I learn the of his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mary longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. We gather